everybody. It's not Jimmy and Bill again. It's Jimmy and Andrew. So <laughs> this is what happened. I deleted two videos that were for this weekend. So Bill is not available right now. So Andrew is filling in. And today what we're talking about is New York versus Florida. Because we're both from New York. Let me tell you a little bit of history. We grew up together. We've known each other for over 40 years. Um, we went to grade school together, junior high, high school together. So we were in business together. We were in business together. Yeah. Yeah. We had the cleaning company. The cleaning guys. The we were cleaning the cleaning guys. guys. We were the cleaning guys. <laughs> but now you guys know I live in Florida and you know that, well, you don't know that, but Andrew was from California and now he moved to Florida about how long ago? A uh, year and a half. A year and a half. But I go back to New York all the time. You go back to New York all the time. So what today's video is about is two, two phase. One is, I believe that Florida is turning into what I call New York South. Okay. Okay. Because everybody I talk to when I do inspections are saying, hey, where are you from? New York. Where are you from? New York. You know. Everybody. And you have that accent and yep. stuff. Oh, yeah. All right. And... People come down here, they're driving up real estate prices because they're, you know, they're selling New their... New York money, yeah. New York money coming down here. And the locals that were born here are getting priced out. Yes. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, but we're going to talk about what I miss from New York compared to Florida and vice versa. And why would I ever live back in New York State till the end? And I'm going to tell you guys. In the meantime, do me a favor. If you like this kind of content... Consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel, and it's greatly, greatly appreciated. And comment below. More than, hey, why don't you guys go back to New York? <laughs> because they know I'm going to get that a lot. All right. What's the biggest thing that you miss from New York? Uh, the biggest thing? Honestly, I'd probably say a decent bagel. That's exactly it. I miss the food. Yeah. Hands down, the food in New York kills the food in Florida because we have, you know, if you're from New York, you know, but we have diners everywhere. Oh, yeah. Rockville Center, Freeport, Long Beach, you know, and you can... And, and they're all Greek diners. And they're all Greek diners, <laughs> but we used to go at, at 2 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, give me a cheeseburger the last. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they were always perfect. Yeah. Never, never, never messed up. Okay. The food... The is service it, is impeccable. Yeah, the service and the food, is it because of competition, you think? Uh, maybe, but like I said, now a lot of these, you know, diners are just normal diners that you would think, but they were all run by Greeks, and Greeks are known for their hospitality. And you go to any Greek restaurant, and you're just going to be blown away. And that's just how the Greek people and Greek culture is. So when you go to these places... It's not even a competition because they're all putting out the best product they can. They hire the nicest people. They're very accommodating. And they understand the pricing for the community. They don't try to rip you off. It's not like McDonald's for the $13 Big Mac. You go into a Greek restaurant and you, or a diner and you can say, give me a cheeseburger deluxe, which is mm -hmm. a cheeseburger, fries, onion rings, coleslaw, and pickles. Mm -hmm. And you might be paying the same price as what you're paying for a Big Mac fries and a Coke. Yeah, so that's crazy. Yeah. So let's talk about traffic, okay? We're from Long Island, okay? But the five boroughs, too, you know? Mm -hmm. So traffic, like, part of New York. I consider upstate New York and five boroughs and Long Island two different states. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah, I actually think... I consider Long Island a different state. Long Island should be its own state because if it was, the state of New York would go bankrupt because all the money comes from Long Island. Yeah, because Long Island is more conservative yeah. than, we than have, the five we have, boroughs. We have a very the, just the, the public schools, which we didn't even touch on in the other video. Uh, like Public schools in New York are great. Mm -hmm. People, re I mean, the only places people go to private school in Long Island is if they send their kids to Catholic school. And it's very hard to find kids that go to Catholic school, but they have them. Uh, whereas, like in Los Angeles, you don't want your kids in public school; you want them in private school. So yeah, so the, the schools, I agree oh, with yeah, you. The are, schools, oh, the schools on um, in Long Island. Now, Long Island. I, the city, I can't speak for because I didn't live in the city, but, but I know they're not yeah, good. Yeah, the, the ones in the city, maybe they got better, but yeah. But I know the 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 schools on Long Island were really good. So schools beat Florida. 
Yes, definitely. Hands down. Hands down. The food beats Florida, hands, hands down. down. Okay? Now, the weather, okay? Even though it's hot and humid here. They have hot and humid there in the they, summer, too. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. They have hot and humid, but then they have a cold winter. And here's my biggest complaint, what, one of the reasons why I don't live in New York and would never move back. When it gets dark at 4.30 in the afternoon. It's still light here. It's still light here. I cannot handle... I literally cannot handle when it gets dark. You know, like, leaving for work, it's dark, and coming back when it's dark. I just can't handle oh, it. I did that for many years, and yeah, it's, you know, you your whole clock is thrown off. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like, and the cold and the ice and... Well, it's getting worse, actually. It's getting colder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's damper. Uh, yeah, it's, damper. yeah, it's more bone-chilling than it was. It used to be, uh, a, I'll call it a warmer cold. You know, but now it's like a wet cold, so it gets right through you. And here's the thing, too, that I never understood. Like, when it's 50 degrees here, it's, like, cold. It feels oh, cold. Oh, yeah, you're freezing. But when you're on Long Island or New York, oh, it's, it's, like summertime. Degrees, it's like summertime. Wear shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, it's summer. And people, like, comes February when it's... I mean, let's be honest. When we were growing up, we used to walk to the bus stop with a t-shirt on, and it's thirty-two degrees out, and our hair was still wet. We'd yeah. get on the bus, and it was it was frozen. <laughs> Absolutely, that happened all the time, you know. So, so basically, the weather, Florida wins. Yeah, uh, I, and but see, Florida is good because Florida is only. Well, this year I'm told it's a lot hotter than it's been in the past. Yeah. But comes the winter months, it's still like Florida's in the 70s, the 60s, the 70s, the 30s, maybe a day or two or three it might go down. So, yeah, Florida has it beat. Because even when it's this as hot as it is today, 92 degrees out, um, it's, yeah, it, the humidity is high, but you can still function. Right. Okay. So, but at the end of the day, Florida wins. Florida wins. Beaches. Okay, we have Long Beach. We have the beaches. The, well, North, have, the North Shore doesn't really have any beaches. No, they don't. They really don't. You, you know, and it's rougher water. It's, it's rougher it's, water. It's dirtier water. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so that. So it's not even a comparison. No, I know. I mean, come on, you go to Clearwater or you go to, you know, Sarasota or even if you go up north, mm -hmm. you know, that way and you get up to, uh, was it, um, what's all the way up in the Panhandle? I forget what it is. With the Air Force Base or something, there's some beaches up there that yeah. the blue water. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. Yeah. The Pan yeah. Um, roads. The roads in New York are horrible. Well, these are pretty bad too. Not where I live. No, here. I mean they're getting there. They're you know they're they're getting you know you can see that you know it's years of neglect. They got to start. I mean you're in a newer development, so the roads are good. But if you start going to the older places, mm -hmm. you know, like if you go north, you'll start seeing the roads starting to fall apart. Yeah, but overall, I mean, way, well, it's because of the climate too. Yeah, because you don't have the, the, the snow and the, the ice, snow. you know, and it, which ruins the roads. Yeah. All right. Here's here's the thing. Why do so many New Yorkers move to Florida, and then, because let's talk about it. Okay, what's what is one of the main reasons why you think, and I'll tell you one of the main reasons why they move here because I talk to a lot of them. Well, for starters, I think. You know, it, it is cheaper, you know, because they, they have a house in New York or Long Island that goes for seven, eight hundred thousand. And if they sell but, it, they go here, they could buy something for three to five and put a couple hundred in there. But pocket. now the prices in Florida they have uh, gone up. Have gone up. Yeah. So they're, they're kind of going to get to the point that they're the same price as yeah. the houses on Long Island. Uh, but there's no, there's no, property taxes here are definitely less expensive than New York. But you have your homeowners and your hurricane insurance, which are through the ceiling, but they're the same in New York. You know, homeowners okay, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah, that's well, well, like where we live in Long Island, we're literally on the water. We grew up yeah, on the water. Yeah, it's sandy. So we have flood insurance. So my flood insurance on my house is, uh, if I remember correctly, forty eight hundred dollars a year for eighty thousand yeah, dollars coverage. We grew up in a town called Island Park, it's next to Long Beach. <clears throat> And literally, I think that town is sinking. Yeah, we're right on the water. I mean, literally, like literally. it rains and it floods. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's it's ridiculous. Sandy pretty much wiped it out. Yeah, Sandy came through. I wasn't there during Sandy. My brother was, and we had so my house is two stories, and my brother said that the water came. He goes, maybe the water line was a foot from the ceiling for the first story. So that's like six to seven feet of water walking through the house, and not just coming in. Like I'm talking going for blocks. You know what I mean? For block after yeah. block after block. That's you know, it's incredible. I mean, we literally grew up on the bay. So why do you think so many New Yorkers move here? Then I have a part two to that question. 
Uh, I think they move here because they think it's cheaper, it's nicer weather, and that it is still close enough that they can get back if they wanted to on a flight or a drive. Yeah. You know, they, they can just, they can get on a plane, be back in an or hour Or they take half. the Amtrak yeah. from Sanford and yeah. get dropped off in Virginia. Yeah. And, you and can then get, just drive yeah. for a few hours. And you, you're you're talking, I mean, if you're not driving from Florida all the way to New York, which would be like an 18-hour drive, mm -hmm. but if you're doing it by plane or, or train, you're only looking at a couple hours. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you can do it in like less than eight hours, maybe even less than six. Um and Were you driving? No, flying. I'm saying oh, like yeah, a yeah, train. Yeah, you know, you're not going that far. Uh, driving is an 18 hour ride, but if you're flying, like you could drive to say Tampa International, which maybe takes you 45 minutes from where I live, uh, and then I get on a plane, and the flight is what an hour and a half, or an hour and 45, and then I'm so, then I'm home in 20 minutes later. So they're moving here because they think it's cheaper now. People moving here, they tell me these are New Yorkers telling me. What do they say? Because because of just closer weather and stuff. But what about politics? Yeah, New York is all democratic rule, but that's New York. Long Island itself is a different beast where the, uh, Long Island is more conservative Republican. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, it doesn't matter. You fall under the, the, the purview of the state of New York. You know, so if the governor of New York decides to, you know, enact this law, it goes to Long Island. Right, because don't forget, upstate New York is conservative. Long Island is pretty much conservative. But the five boroughs but are the five Democrats. boroughs are, yeah, are not. The liberal Democrats. So, you know, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. No, everybody, it's fine. you know, everybody could have their beliefs. So don't I be, like vanilla, you like chocolate. Yeah, don't beat me up on that one. But mm -hmm. I'm just saying people are moving off of, uh, out of New York because of politics. Yes. So, some of them told me straight out. Why did you move here? Because of politics. Yeah, because it's not changing. It, it, I don't want to say it's getting worse. It might just be even staying consistent, but there's no getting better. So, like, you know, they, they'll constantly raise your property taxes, and that's done by the, the governor and the whole, you know, organization. And you live in Long Island, and Long Island already pays more property tax than anybody. I mean, the property tax on my house in Long Island is somewhere in the area of, like, $12,000 a year. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. You know, then you take the property tax, the homeowner's insurance, and the flood insurance. I'm into somewhere between, honestly, twenty one and $24,000 a year to have a house. Now, <clears throat> I'm a single guy. You know, I don't, have, I don't have to worry about, you know, the family, so to speak. So and I make money and I can afford it. But what if you're married, you know, say the wife doesn't work and you have maybe two or three young kids, you know, and you're paying a mortgage, God forbid, because that's going to be insane. Property taxes, you have to have certain insurances because you can't get the mortgage, you know, and then it's everything else, just the cost of living, the cost of gas, the cost of food. Do I send my kids to public school, which they have good ones, but some families want to send their kids to private school. Yeah. So let, let's talk about a little bit about crime. Okay. Um, every state has crime. And I, I know that. Crime has gotten a lot worse in New York. But crime has gotten a lot, a lot worse. You know, Long Island, where we grew up, pretty much everybody knew everybody. Was, but the Nassau County Police Department has their a uh, buttoned up unit. Yeah. Meaning like they have their act together and they, sort of Suffolk a little bit. Suffolk too. Suffolk yeah, does also. Too, yeah. Where they they have their own their own I don't want to call it ruling party, but they make sure that like, hey, we don't let this get out of control. We nip it in the butt. Whereas New York, the five boroughs it's the old west. It's Dodge, you know what I mean? And and it's politics too, because if the the mayor, who was the captain of the police department, says, you know, he's got to go what the governor goes for. Even though he was a police officer, he's no longer a police officer. So he's walking a tightrope, this man, between one side and the other. And in New York, every uh, Long Island, I should say, everyone is more to that right side. So there's not much of a tightrope to walk. But Republicans throughout history mm -hmm. have been more of the, you know, the conservative, mm -hmm. where it's about family, you know, and your religion, your health, your education, your property, you know, they want less government, less taxes, you know, stuff like that, where on the other side of the aisle, it's a little bit more controlling. All right. So let me ask you the part two of that question. Why do so many New Yorkers move to Florida and then, you know, a year later, they're moving out right. of Florida? But not a lot, of, a lot of them are moving what we call halfbacks. Yeah. So New Yorkers are famous for being halfbacks. What is a halfback? Halfback is somebody that moved from like New Jersey, Connecticut, New York, and instead of coming to Florida, realizing it, they don't want to stay here because X, Y, or Z. You know, and I'll give you guys some examples. But they move back to like North Carolina or South Carolina, 
So not all the way back, but... Halfway back. Halfway back. So th that's what we call halfbacks. Why do you think so many New Yorkers are don't make it in Florida? Uh, I probably I'd say the isolation that they feel because you know they're they think of it as they're so many miles away and the family and the friends over there and they're not that outgoing. Let's be honest, New Yorkers aren't that nice of people. Yeah, <laughs> they're really not. And there's um, some areas of Florida that are not so nice either, but. But, you know, they, they come down, they try it, they can't take the heat, uh, and then they think that there's not much going on here, because this is a slower pace. You know, this this is kind of like the California. California is a slower place, pace also. Um, it doesn't move as fast as New York does. And so they, they can't handle that. So then they, they start to move. As you start, once you get past Georgia, it, the pace does start to pick up, you know, into the Carolinas, you get to Virginia. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, back like, to uh, I'll call it normality, where you know it's it's regular living. Yeah, I mean, like if you want a plumber here, sometimes you know you have to wait a little while to get the plumber here. Yeah, you then, might have to wait weeks. You know, in an emergency, the reason why my inspection company does well is because I have that New York mentality. Yeah. It's like, hey, let me go there and take care of it. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying all Floridians don't have a good work. No, ethic. they don't. There's a but, lot they do, but there's some that do, and there's I'm sure there's some New Yorkers that have bad work ethics too. Oh yes. But here's one of the things that people come here is a lot of New Yorkers come here and they think they come here for a vacation and they think they're going to move here and it's going to be one big vacation. Oh, would I agree with you 100% on that? And when they move here and then after a few months, you're like, okay, this is not one big vacation. This is just Long Island, but hotter. <laughs> Worse food. <laughs> you know? Yes. This is, but that's basically it. You know, like when I came down here, because I had a condo for years here, and I would come back down here, and it was a vacation time for me. You know, I'd take a break from New York and New Hampshire and stuff. But after a while, now that I moved here full time, it's. Well, you see, you work. Yeah, yeah. You, but you, you run businesses, you know, and you keep yourself busy. A lot of these other people come down here. And, like, when you're in New York, uh, even in Long Island, it's almost like 24-7. Like, you can go to a diner at 2 o'clock in the morning. You know, like, you can't find anything open around here at 2 o'clock in the morning. No. You know what I'm saying? You can't find anything pretty much open here after 10 o'clock at night. You know, so a lot of these people come here and, you know, they have that, that mentality of, like, hey, it's 11 o'clock. We're going out. Mm -hmm. And everything's closing. Now, I don't, does, I don't know this. Does Florida close their bars at 2 or 4? I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. Like New York, it's I, 4 I'm in bed by ten. So yeah, I, I mean, don't it's know. A, it's a four a.m. <laughs> and a lot of people come with that that mentality. You said that it's it's a party, it's a vacation, and you know everything's hunky dory and fun. And then you realize after being here four to six months that wow, it's eight o'clock and there's nothing going on. Yeah. And you're like itchy and you don't know what to do. Well, you, we, it, it's different. Fort Lauderdale, Miami, that's not the but way that, it is. But the, but the, those are tourisms where like. Everyone there pretty much is on the vacation, and the the people who do live there are partying with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, I mean, over here in Tampa, we have the casino. Uh, I haven't gone there since COVID, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, it's more New York. I think there's more a feel of things to do. Yeah, New York is kind of like Vegas in a way, you know, without the slot machines. Like it's twenty four seven. Like over here, you get desensitized, you know, like the water, the beaches, you know. Yeah, you, this becomes island living, meaning like you're you, you slow down, you lay back, you take it easy. I mean, let, let's be honest, Florida is can can has more retirees and like ex military than pretty much I think any other state in the country. Well believe it or not, Florida's not the number one retirement state anymore. What is it, uh, Alabama or something? Tennessee. Tennessee. And Tennessee is dangerous as hell. Certain parts. Yeah. Bad. it's like, whoo man. You everyone loves Nashville. Nashville's a hellhole. <laughs> you know what? My cousin's in Nashville right now and I just talked to him this morning and I wanna go I haven't been to Nashville. I wanna go check it out. I mean it's a fun place, don't get me wrong. It's nice to visit. You don't wanna live there. I mean if you live in the outskirts out in the country area, yeah, it's beautiful. But everyone's like, I wanna live in Nashville because you live in Nashville, tell us what, what it's like. It's all that. tourism. But so a lot of people are moving from New York because of those reasons. Yeah, I mean like Tennessee is cheaper, you know, if you want to go to Tennessee, but but that'll start to get expensive in a short time. But believe it or not, Florida, you know, people are, are finishing work in Florida. They're not retiring in Florida. They're actually moving to places like Tennessee, Georgia, and well, the Carolinas. And I think that's because the change of pace. You need you, need, you want to like change it up. 
Well, and a lot of people that moved here, I asked them why they're moving, you know, out of Florida. They missed the four seasons. The heat and the humidity kill them. Yeah, but when you get to a certain age, I mean, you, you don't even want the four seasons. You pretty much want two. You know, it's like you, you want to know that December, January, and February, and March are in the 70s but, that, but, but that's why, you know, in the, in the Carolinas, they have mild, you know... Well, they have their their winters are way worse than ours. Like they get colder than we do, you know. Definitely. Um, oh yeah, it's because they have a, they have about a mile away. They're better than New York. It is better than New York. Um, but if I if I had to take the, the toss up, mm-hmm. I would never leave. I would say you bought the house in Florida. You probably got a, a pretty good deal, you know. It, unless you you know you got the bad you know finance rate and all that stuff. Um, but overall, like. The, Carolinas, nothing against those places or Georgia or anything, but it gets to a point where there's nothing to do there either. There's, it almost becomes the same as Florida, you mm-hmm. know. Where and Florida actually does have more to offer than those places do. Yeah, would you ever move back to New York? Never, never. No, I wouldn't move. Put it this way: if if they offered me the state of New York, like literally said, you can own the whole state, I would pay them to never call me again. I would never want to be back in that place. Never for any reason so whatsoever. Why are you keeping the house there? Because I can't sell it. Okay. <laughs> it's like you, it's, it's a flood zone. It's, a, it's flood zone. The taxes. <laughs> you can't sell it. You know. So you. Get, hey, if anybody wants to buy a house in Highland Park, call Andrew. You can't sell it. You know what I mean? Or if you're gonna, you put it this way, I could sell it, but I'd have to sell it for like two hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars when it's worth like eight hundred, if not more. You know what's funny about moving to Florida I, is. I see more people from New York and Long Island now that I live in Florida than when I was on Long Island. Oh, yeah. Because I, people come down here all the time and well, they visit. Just from our town that we grew up in. Yeah, we can have we can have a reunion. Oh my god, together. there's so many people live here from like they'll live up in uh, the villages and in Inverness and yeah. Tampa and they're Newport Ritchie and Hudson and they crack up because you know on Facebook they, all these people you see and then you're like oh my god like we hung out with all these people. But we don't see any of them now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You grew up with them. Yeah. I mean, this is the first time I've seen Jimmy in a couple of months. Yeah. And, you know, we've known each other forever. And I've been here for a year and a half. So we've only gotten together, what, three times? Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? But but we work. We're always doing something. Well, so. now we're getting, we're, we're getting to the pl- time to retire. So well, Nobody's we'll, retiring. We're, we'll be working <laughs> until the day we die. <laughs> New, New York uh, energy. Yeah. Anyways, that's today's video. It's greatly appreciated. Watch this video here. It's a really good one. I picked it just for you guys. Consider subscribing, share, and give it a thumbs up. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you and have a great day.